Hey guys, happy 4th of July for those of you who celebrate it, as we are on Castle Machinery. This is a harder version of Heavy Machinery, it was only one hard part. And this is how you do it, if you have the green gem, you can get a lot, a lot of lives here. I think there are 27 of them. And that's how you do it improperly. As it tells you how many boxes you've missed and how many there are. So you missed 24 boxes and that's how many there are. It's the only level that tells you how many boxes there are if you've done this improperly. Well, let me show you how to do it properly. First you want to fall down here. Crash falls. But he survives. Then there are more robotic dogs, security cameras, and flying things as usual. Like right here. You do not want to jump. Because then you end up getting hit and then losing a life. So then it takes you to this platform, what you want to do is avoid those red hot pipes, then you get an aqua aqua mask over here, but the blue pipes are nothing. You want to jump over these red hot pipes. And you reach your first checkpoint. And you want to avoid more hot pipes. Go over here, up front, and then up back where you get an extra life and an aqu another aqua aqua mask. And watch out as those things glow, as I don't know a proper name for those things. Well, they're pipes actually, which blow out steam. So anyway, remember when three years ago when I said I was going to do a walkthrough of GTA 3 and then I thought about it and then decided not to do it and decided to do GTA 5 as a walkthrough but instead watch out for those by the way want to time it right. Instead I would do a playthrough of GTA 6 once it's released just to see how the game goes and review my opinion of it. So yeah once GTA 6 comes out I'm gonna do a playthrough of it instead of GTA 3, 5, 4, San Andreas, Vice Cities so anyway, that's that, and we should go down here. We want to avoid more red hot pipes. Where could we be without this robotic dog? Jump on here for more wumble fruits.
can then spin those boxes. You actually can't go up there because there's no way of getting there no matter how hard you try. See? What you want to do is go down here. Be careful not to go on that thing because it'll take you up to that red hot pipe. Now what you want to do is go up here so you can gather more wampa foods. Then there are more robotic dogs. Then we reach another checkpoint. Want to get through these red hot pipes. And avoid those annoying things. And then what do we come across here? A bunch of boxes is seemingly impassable. Well first you want to jump on every other box then jump on the ones in the bottom. This is how you do it. And then you go back almost fell for a moment and then you want to go on the boxes with the extra lives on it. Let's see if I can do this right. Yes, made it. Now my second try. It's hoping to do this level perfectly. But like I said, no one's perfect. You can do perfect stuff, but you can't be a perfect person. Wanna go on that platform? And then wait for the other platform to come down, which brings you up. And then you made it here. This goes in a weird pattern. So you better time this right. And I made it. We almost made it to the exit portal. And yes! Made it to the end. Let's see how many boxes we got. Should be 24. But we did not miss any boxes once again. We got our 22nd gem. And a few more levels to go, including the bosses. So now we can save in peace. So we need 10 more percent, 10 percent more to complete this game. Alright yo, have a happy and safe 4th of July for those of you who celebrate it, possibly American viewers who are watching this. Happy 4th of July everyone, be safe, as we will go on to Nitrous Brio for the next boss. See ya!